Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. If you sell on platforms such as eBay or Mercari, you're in luck. We're going to check out doll brands that sold on eBay for over $100 in the last 90 days. Can you tell which one of these dolls sold for over $1,000? That was actually a trick question. All three of these have actually sold for over $1,000. So stick with me and we're going to learn what to look for. We're going to start with Kessner. This is an antique German doll. Production was from the 1820s to 1938. The older dolls tend to have a number or a size on the back of their heads. And these are primarily porcelain faced. This doll actually has an interesting feature. So it does close its eyes, but you can see from the inside that they actually have moving eyes. This is super neat. And here's the mark on the back. So it is made in Germany. Sometimes it'll have the marking JDK as well for Kessner. And you can see that the head is not complete. The opening, there's an opening at the top. This sold for $420 in a bid with $26 shipping. Show Nut. This is the Miss Dolly doll and this is an antique. Production was from 1903 to 1935. These dolls were mostly wooden. The artist was German but he was based in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Current sold was $250, shipping was $88.70. And this doll is not in great shape. You can see her the paint on her eyes and her mouth and nose are all damaged. Her body has markings, but you can see that the joints do have bendable parts. I have another Shonut here, and this one sold for an incredible $1,325. This one was restored, I guess. This is 1916 or before. So this is in the earlier years of the production. So let's take a closer look. So you can see the face is wooden, it's carved, but it's been restored with paint. So the eyes have been repainted, the nose has been fixed, the mouth has been fixed. You see the top of the head. And here you can even see the wood, the wood markings. Vogue. This doll was produced between 1922 and 1972. This is called the Guinea doll or the Ginny doll. This company started in Somerville, Mass, and they ended up becoming the largest doll only manufacturer in the world. And so this is their most popular doll. This one happens to be from 1952. This sold for $155 and $11.45 shipping. Simon and Halbig. Current sold was $385 in a bid. Shipping was $18.90. So this is another bisque doll, so porcelain head, and this is also from Germany. These were produced between 1890 and 1930. So you can see she has little teeth. Her eye, her eyebrows are painted on. Her arms do have connections and her wrists do as well, so they can bend a little bit, I think. Not too much. Now we have Madame Alexander. This is a baby doll from a series or a grouping called the Dion Quintuplets. And each baby had a different color to identify them because they basically all look the same. They were from the same mold. This one sold for $100 in 882 shipping. And this one is called Marie and she's supposed to have a blue dress. Of course, it's faded by now, so it's not as blue as it should be. And she has molded hair on the top of her head. And it's easier to identify them from their clothing. So you can take a look at the tag. And this particular doll is from 1935. And this company was from New York, USA. Armand Marcel. These dolls were produced between 1885 and 1930. This is another German company. This is also another porcelain doll. This one says Queen Louise. Current sold was $299, shipping was $19.52. And let's take a look at her body. So again, she has those connection points. She also has some openings in the back and a pull cord. And you can see the back, it says Queen Louise, Germany. Her eyes do close when she lays down. She has some teeth and that face is beautiful. 
Now we have F and B. This name comes from the letters for the creators F and B, but they created this word F and B. And this one sold for $595 and the shipping was 46. And the company produced these dolls from 1910 to 1970s, also created in New York, USA. Um, the name for the dolls are usually in the markings on the doll. So this one's the Lovem's Composition Doll. And again, has that molding around the hair, very expressive face, rosy cheeks, the arms move. And here's the tag, F and B. Made in USA. This is the Ideal Doll Company. This is the Tiny Tearful Thumbelina Doll. Current sold was $255 and $10.55 shipping. And this company produced dolls from 1910 to about the 1980s, not positive. But they were famous for the Betsy Wetsy doll and some other dolls, the Certainly Temple doll. And they did a few Disney dolls in the past. These were like a very long time ago. See, these are old Disney characters. And this company did a lot of dolls that kind of had extra features. So they did something else. So like Betsy Wetsy could wet in a diaper. Um, they had ones that I guess could talk. Things like that. So this one is really, really cute. And we can see on the back neck. This is usually where you can find markings for dolls. is the back of the head or the back of the neck. And you can see here. It says Ideal Toy Corp. Up next is Helen Kish. So this designer started in the 1980s uh, to current times. And these dolls are fashioned in three different decades. So the 1930s, the 1950s, and the 1970s for style. And so this is an African American doll. Current sold was $222. That was a winning bid. Shipping was $12.25. And let's get a close up. Her face is gorgeous. Her eyes are painted, just so you know. American Character. These dolls were produced between 1919 and 1968. And so this is a Toodles doll, and that is one of the doll lines that they had. Eyes a little little strange with the eyes not very proportionate the forehead's a little big her eyes do close and current sold was $179.99 shipping was $13 and this doll was from the 1960s now we have Ashton Drake galleries this doll sold for $100 and 1945 shipping started in 1985 until now it's still producing dolls and Let's take a closer look at the face. So you can see that this is looks like kind of like a silicone plastic material. This is not a porcelain doll. And she has a cloth body and she does have a voice box. Hempstead. Annette Hempstead started producing dolls in 1986 till 2008. Most of the dolls are vinyl or porcelain. She's a German artist. So this is a young girl. And the current sold was $169.99. And shipping was $23.65. Let's take a closer look. Look at all the painted detail. You can see freckles. She has beautiful eyelashes. Here's another example of Annette Hempstead. This one's rare as well. This was from 2008. So this is like one of the last dolls to be produced. This sold for $579.99. Shipping was $198. Wow. And you can see again the detail in the work. The eyes are incredible. Those eyelashes. Very expressive face. Very lifelike. And you can see here they have a brochure that comes with this. So there's other dolls in the collection. And this is the Winter Kinder Edition 2008. Here's another vintage doll. This is the Jumeau doll and most of these were bisque, so porcelain dolls. This one also went for over $1,000, $1,075 and shipping was $26.55. These dolls were produced from 1842 to 1855, so these are pretty much the oldest dolls on my list. This is a French company, so let's take a closer look. This doll is in great condition too. 
I love the dress. The eyes have a lot of eyelashes. And you can see here that this doll doesn't have a full head. It has a wig that goes over the crown. So I noticed that a few of the antique dolls, the dolls from before the 1900s are made this way. So that's a very easy way to identify if it's very old. And you can see here it says the Tet Jumo on there with the number nine. On the back side, you can see a printed label as well. Here's another Jumo. This one sold for $499 and $33.35 shipping. Here you go, you can see the printed label Jumo. This is from Paris, France. And another feature of older dolls is they will have two holes in the back and that is for the stand. So you know dolls obviously have doll stands. The older dolls had holes in the back so that the metal hooks could hold them up. Next we have Sasha. These dolls were produced between 1942 and 1975. This was a Swiss artist and the dolls were mainly produced in Germany and UK. And this one is from 1981. Um, this is a limited edition. It's sold for $128.50 in a bid. Shipping was $14.50. You can see up close here she has very bright blue eyes. Very distinct face. Her arms are movable. And she comes with this tag on the wrist. It says made in England. Here's another Sasha doll to compare. So you notice the faces are similar. This one actually came with a box. So we can see here, this one was made in England. Number 110. They even have a little pamphlet. Next is Lee Middleton. These dolls were produced between 1978 and 2000. This company was founded um, by an artist in Ohio. Um, she made these dolls because she wanted dolls that looked like her children. So this is a very lifelike toddler doll. Very impressive. And this one sold for $299.99 and shipping was $17.45. And I have another version of the same doll, different outfit, adorable again with the little puppies. This one also sold for over $200. Reborn. This is an interesting collection. This started in the early 1990s um, in the US and the they're basically vinyl dolls either from doll kits or from other dolls that have been created to be realistic um, that have been repainted by artists. This sold for $739 US and $73.95 shipping US. And this one is called Tobaya and it's by Laura Lee Eagles. So this artist may have other productions of different babies. I also have another reborn baby doll here. So this one's very, very lifelike. The, the skin tone is incredibly detailed. This sold for $355 and $30 shipping. So we can see some details here. This baby has a cloth body. Some of them come with anatomically correct parts, which uh, buyers of reborn babies care about. They often have uh, pamphlets and information with them. This is the first edition by Laura Lee Eagles, so LLE. This second baby here, um, wow, look at that face. That is so lifelike. I mean, even look at the belly button. It's got like the piece of the umbilical cord from the from being a newborn. This is incredible. So the reason these are called reborn is because they are lifelike dolls that are painted by artists to make them look even more lifelike. And the material is often uh, soft vinyl or silicone. Um, so it feels like a real baby. Very interesting. Cabbage Patch Kids. So if you haven't heard the history of Cabbage Patch Kids, started with a designer called Martha Nelson. Another young artist called Xavier Roberts discovered her dolls and he basically redesigned them and licensed them as originally called the Little People. This started in 1978. And then in 1981, he had to change the name to Cabbage Patch Kids because of Little People being licensed by Fisher Price. And so Coleco produced his dolls in 1982 to 1988. And there are like a couple of other companies after that. So the dolls that I have here are older 
original Cabbage Patch Kids. So you can see it says Xavier Roberts on there. And this tag says 1978-1982. So this is the earlier versions of the doll. And this one sold for $100 and $25 shipping. And Next is American Girl. So these dolls were created uh, starting in 1986. And they basically come with stories um, and a name and a background for each. So this is a retired doll. So that means that they no longer produce this specific version. It sold for $175 and $15 shipping. All right, so this is the original American Girl from Pleasant Co. This is the Samantha doll made in 1986. And she was at auction and sold for $1,837 and shipping was $25. And you'll notice that American Girl dolls always have the cloth body. And here's the tag. And her eyes do close. And on the back of her neck, you can see it says the company's name, Pleasant Co. And here's just one more example. Her name's Kit, and she sold for $225 and $18 shipping. And you can see here, here's her book. So she does have a background story. So when you're checking for American Girl dolls, you're gonna have to look up the name and the year and see if it's discontinued to see how much it's worth because they're not all worth this much money. Some of them may be less. As always, we hope this information was useful to you. Please like, subscribe, and leave a comment. Let us know which item categories you'd like us to research in future videos. Thank you for watching.